Breaking news. U.S. Foundation donates ambulances to Benue IP, IDPs, the centers, that's uh, uh, people that have been displaced, okay? Uh, people that have been displaced. The U.S. is aware. We brought you up to speed that um, U.S. is carrying investigations and have come to support the people some time ago, okay, of the U.S. contribution to Benue State, and they have been looking at how things have been going on in Benue State. You know, Governor Samuel Otom continued to raise alarm of all the inability, all the government, not want, the government of Nigeria not wanting to do the right thing to support the people in the right way to ensure that Nigerians are safe and protected. We brought you up to speed that these things were happening and that, um, you know, Nigerians are not happy. Now, the U.S., have, you know, after coming to investigate, sending delegates to come and see what is on ground, have come to the conclusion that indeed, you know, there is oppression in the ground. There is oppression. Now, if you have those evidences which you have been backed up, you have evidences to back up the claims that have been said by the Benue State Governor who continue to shout out that his people are being oppressed and that the Fulanese are infiltrating to cause every form of harm to his you know to his administration and to the people of Benue State. What are we doing to bring them out of this very current predicament? What are we doing? That's the very question we must you know now pay attention to. So the US Foundation donates ambulances to Benue State uh, IDPs. Let's get all the details. A United States based medical foundation with a branch in Nigeria, Dr. Patrick Adil Foundation, also known as Swash Foundation, has donated a fully equipped ambulance to the Benue State Government for use for the, in, for the internally displaced persons, IDPs. The representative of the foundation in Nigeria, Dr. Travel, who presented the ambulances to Governor Samuel Otom on Thursday, 2nd December 2021 at the Benway People House, McCordy, said it is to be used in conveying sick persons from the IDP centers to the hospital and to support we know of the current predicaments the state is on and the fight against Fulanese infiltrating into their state and committing atrocities. Mr. Tawash, who stated that the ambulance was the ambulances were equipped with the latest medical facilities such as gas cylinder and other first aid facilities, assured that more of such vehicles will be given to the state. Receiving the ambulances, the governor, Samuel Otom, expressed appreciation to the foundation for the donation and assured that the ambulance would be utilized judiciously for the benefit of the IDPs in the state. The executive secretary, Benway State Emergency Management Agency, SIMA, Dr. Emmanuel Shero, led the representative of the foundation to the governor for the presentation and for the receipts of this. So my wonderful people, this is what is going on right now. And Nigerians, you know, have been pouring out words of support to the governor of Benway State. Oh my dear, Benway State governor, the government and the people have gone through a lot. Like seriously, a lot. In the, in the, I mean, in this Buhari's administration, I don't know if those that are with Buhari are not telling him the truth of how bad things are. Okay, of how bad things are, how things have been going from bad to worse, you know, how things have been going from bad to worse. You'll be shocked and surprised. So this is what is happening right now. This is what is going on. Nigerians are looking and we are just, you know, watching with disbelief, you know. Thank God that the U.S., we brought you up to speed that the U.S. was investigating all that was declared and was said went on, you know, in Benway State, uh, that have been going on in Benway State, how the Fulanese have been infiltrating and coming, you know, and doing a lot of things you know we brought you up to speed on that light and afterwards we also brought you up to speed to the fact that uh, you know Benway state government has called on Buhari and told us that he wants to see Mr. President himself but guess what the cabal will not let him see Mr. President because the Femi's additionals, the Garuba Shewu, whether you like it or not these are people who 
to a large extent whether you like it or not they call the shots and they are the one deciding who comes in and who goes out and what happened sadly this is what we are experiencing and nobody that even a governor okay an elected governor who was democratically elected cannot see the president to vent out some of the things that are going on okay to vent out some of the things that are going on so when you look at it you understand really truly that uh, we are in a situation where things must actually be changed and if we don't uh, rise up to the occasion if we don't speak out then we we allow these people to do whatever they want to do and get away with it you know there are so many abnormalities going on today there are so many on i mean on true things happening and you'll be shocked to understand how some of these things play out you know, you'll be, you'll be shocked. You know, the governor is receiving these ambulances. Thank God for the donation uh, from the U.S. But however, more, more than this donation, we want you to intervene for calling out for justice and truth for the people. Mm. We want to call out justice and we want to call out for truth. Okay, we want the people to be, you know, we want truth. Okay. We want truth to be told. We don't just want you to come and tell us, ah, blah, blah, blah. No, we want truth. Okay? We want truth to be done. Uh -huh. So that is why we need to now rise up and tell ourselves the truth and, and, and stop pretending to one another. Uh, we must stop pretending to one another. We must say the truth as it is. We must be honest. We must be truthful. And we must be sincere to support and to make sure that, you know, uh, what is going on is, is sorted out. Okay, you you know that the that the Fulani is truly really are infiltrating, and recently we saw that the U.S. removed you know Nigeria from religious intolerance group. You know, it's a country saying that uh, oh, you know, uh, uh, Nigeria is no longer part of that. Why that is being said and that is being done? Fine. What are you not doing to ensure? Okay, that you said Nigeria is not that indeed it's not, because what we are experiencing now is different. What we are experiencing now is different. Since that has been said, more and more evil has been going on. More and more evil. And nobody's saying anything. Okay? This, and nobody's saying, everybody's quiet and just watching as things play out. Okay? This is what is going on. So Nigerians, it is it is time for every one of us, you know, to, to not only get sympathy from these people, but to also let hold them responsible for what, you know, the truth of what should really be. They need to be held responsible. They need to tell us the truth as well. So this is what is happening. This is what is going on. Okay? Please do not forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. From us, it's bye for now. Bye.